way. So, so expansion and the purpose of moving my capacity, my capacity directly impacts my ability to create. So some of you are saying, listen, I want my 2017, I want it to, I want to create more in the area of money, right? But the truth is any target that you set over here to create more money, that target itself is going to demand that you become a different man. If you've set a target that is at all obtainable or a step beyond a life that you currently have, if you created any sense of direction to become more financially in 2017, you actually have to become a different fucking person. Because the guy you are right now is not good enough to pull that shit off. Isn't that crazy? If you set real good targets, targets that will push you to become more, push you to grow, push you to expand, they will demand that you expand. You won't be able to hit them being who you are right now. The way you think, the stories you tell, the beliefs you have, the skill sets you have, the courage you have, the size of your fucking balls to do things that are really hard. All that's going to have to change. You will have to be different. Which means the guy you were has got to die with 2016 and the guy you got to become is in transition here in 2017. And so the purpose in my world of my life is expansion. Which means I push and grow for one purpose, which is to become more. So people say, well, do you need the house, the cars, and things that you're buying? No. But they become something that force me to grow. Answering myself one simple question, which is who would I have to become? Who would I have to ultimately become to obtain these targets? And the reality is I would have to become, become something different. If we look inside your marriage, maybe your marriage worked out great for you in 2016. Maybe it didn't. Regardless inside of that, we do know this, is that if you want your marriage to be different, you're going to have to become a different man. The man that you have shown up to be, that guy currently created your relationship to be what it is. Your current communication, your current sexuality, your current intimacy, all of it, that is what got you here, but it won't get you there. So we can face the idea that in order to bulletproof your future, you're going to have to start with a really simple idea, which is, well, what the fuck is the point? What's the point of your life? Why well, do something different next year? If you're somebody that's interested in just like maintaining the status quo over here and a bunch of principles that won't necessarily make you grow and you're kind of just comfortable sitting in social media land and watching a bunch of cool shit and hoping that it will change you, well, you know what? My, what I'm about to share with you might not work so well. But if you're somebody who's like, you know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of good. I want great. Or I'm tired of shitty and I want good. I'm a path to great. If you are in that place, then this might work out.